Hey guys, I just thought I would do an update on here. If you follow us on Instagram or TikTok, you'll know that just over a week ago we lost Troy, um, our gorgeous little grey pony. Uh, he's about 27 years old. Um, he has had Cushing's uh, and ultimately it was the Cushing's that caused him out. He was medicated for over a year on Prescend and that um, really depressed him. I didn't realise until I ran out and suddenly out of nowhere we got our old pony back from a pony that had become really quite despondent, didn't want to move, wasn't particularly hungry, um, to a pony that was just the pony that Isla has grown up with and loved. So for about three months we have had the most amazing time reliving his youth. Slaz has been out hacking on him, he's been jumping, he's been doing pole work clinics, things I never thought we would do with him again. Um, so we've been so fortunate to have an amazing few months with him. Unfortunately, as the effects of the Cushing's have, um, have become more clear since he's been off the medication, he dramatically went downhill really quite quickly, thankfully. Um, and basically over a 48 hour period, he became quite crippled with laminitis, which he's never had before. Um, so the moment I found him foot sore in the field, I made the decision that uh, we would call it a day for him. And that is heartbreaking to me and to my girls, but ultimately um, it's pony first and he did not need to stay around and suffer when he's had such a wonderful life. I could have kept him alive. I could have kept him in his stable, off all grass, on some medication, but that is not a life. We don't have to do that to our animals. Um, people don't have a choice, but animals do. And it is our responsibility as owners to make that decision. I'm so proud of the girls who were part of that decision. Um, they were able to recognise that it was the right thing to do to say goodbye to our gorgeous boy. He has got so much history with us. We have had the most amazing 10 years with him. Isla has had him since she was a one year old um, and he has taught her to ride completely and he's taught her so many other values. He's taught her to care for an animal, to love, to be responsible. He's also been her therapist and best friend um, and as a result my absolute lifeline. He's like been a, a child minder and a nanny to me through the holidays. Um, so we are so heartbroken to part with him, but know it was the right decision. Um, I am going to be uploading a load of videos of him because I am so glad we film everything because we have got the happiest memories caught on camera. Um, so keep an eye out for those. They'll be in the form of shorts and some longer videos as well once I get the opportunity to compile them. Um, but to everyone who follows me on Instagram as well, thank you so much for your kind words. One lady said to me, which really, really helped, better a day too soon than a day too late and as the person who ultimately had to make that decision that was the best thing to hear and really really helped me and I stand by it uh, we made the right decision Troy is buried here at home with us so he will never leave Horden and um, Peggy is doing okay she found it hard for the first few days but she's doing okay and we're all just trying to get back to normal life or whatever normal life is without him in our lives um, so yeah we've been a bit quiet that's why. Um, if anyone has any questions about Cushing's or wants to learn a bit more, then we're really happy to talk. The girls have been amazing. We talk very, very freely about um, what happened to him and we, we talk about him all the time. Uh, so really happy to answer any questions you might have. Uh, thank you for your continued support on our accounts um, and hope you're all well.